or from YouTube or Twitch, then the title should say it all. Today is Pineapple Day. And if you're here on Instagram, hello, hey, Kyle, then um, I'm going to go ahead and have to tell you guys what's happening today, which is that there will be a, an abstract pineapple painting completed today. Hey, Ahar. Hey, K Artbeat. Nice to see you guys. And let's see, it's Wednesday. And today is, what is today? May 6th. <laughs> it's Wednesday. It's May 6th, and the year is 2020. <clears throat> Hey, Andres, nice to see you. And um, what else? The intention of this broadcast is to create joyfulness through color, to create peacefulness. And um, thank you guys for saying hi. And uh, to spread that to anyone who's watching. So if you're here, thank you very much. And let's get started on the painting. Um, sometimes when I am painting something that I've never painted before, then I'll use a reference photo. But today all I have, <laughs> hey Jerry, hey Peter, all I have for the reference is this little figurine of a pineapple. So I guess this is what's going to be used as the reference for today's painting. Um, and what I, since pineapples are kind of a brownish color on the outside and they have a little bit of green up at the top, I'm going to use a yellow background to kind of get that pineapple flavor going. And also because I just got a new can of yellow paint, so that's exciting. If you've been watching, then you've been seeing how sad that my can of yellow paint was looking. <laughs> All right. So this color is, uh, hey Agave, nice to see you. This color was at the paint store and the name of the color is uh, Bling Bling. And I may or may not have chosen the color based on the name. I would never do that. <laughs> Jerry says nice necklace. Thank you. Okay, I need to clear off my supply shelf because it's getting a little bit <clears throat> crowded up here. So pardon me while I make room for the new can of yellow paint. How's everybody's Wednesday going? Let me know. would be. I'm oh, sorry for all the jiggliness. <laughs> it's, a, it's a can of paint. All right, here we go. Nice, uh, relaxing yellow color here. Good little background. And Peter says, enjoying hammock time on a beautiful day. That is amazing. I love hammocks so much, and beautiful days make it even better. So. Ah, it is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? All right, I'm going to mix in a little bit of white with this because I really am going to try to work a little harder to cover up that background. There was something already printed on this panel, so I just need to make sure that that doesn't really show through too much. Plus, any excuse to use an additional color for a bit of texture, I'm always fine with that.
Peter, tell me what part of Austin you're in. Um, I used to live there and I would like to know. I'd like to get a visual of where you're at, what you've been doing. Oh, um, I did send that painting to you. It sounded like it was maybe 1st through 5th Street. <laughs> All right, I don't know. Mix in a little bit more of the yellow to go with this white. And I just remembered that I've been having a trouble seeing the chat box on some of the streams, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that everybody who's here is uh, able to chat back. It's really easy on some of these. Oh, poor connection. Okay. Um, and also, I'm having a little bit of trouble with connections, so I may just go need to make a small change um let's see myra says hey pretty girl and marianne says you certainly needed a new can of yellow <laughs> thank you for noticing that too and myra says did you see the blue angels fly over today <laughs> i have a funny story about that but i'm gonna go update that well it's not that funny but i'm gonna go update the um router real quick and just make sure that there's a really great connection for everyone so just give me about 30 seconds and i'll be right back for hanging in there and I am back. All right. Hey, Martha. Hey, Chad. Hey, Gabriel. <laughs> um, and yes, so let me just make sure I can see the chat here. I should have done this before the broadcast, but it's been kind of working sometimes and other times not working. So I just went and opened the window and that's how I make the router work better. Just by having a... <laughs> okay. There, I think I can see everybody now. Um, so Myra's asking... 40 seconds. Haha, <laughs> thank you for timing. Um, Myra's asking if I saw the Blue Angels fly over today. And... What had happened was... I was in my room. I heard something very loud. And I said, wow, that sounds like a really low-flying fighter jet. Very, very strong one. <laughs> and um, I thought, okay, well, I'm pretty sure that the United States just went to war or something, so I better get on Facebook and check. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, Martha. So, but I do have like a certain intuitive process that I use that kind of will tell me, give me pretty clear answers. Sometimes if I want to know something without having to get up and look. And so I asked myself, is the United States in any danger? Are we at war or anything like that? The answer was no. <laughs> I've, I could feel the very clear answer, no, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> so um, I didn't get up and look at Facebook right away. But yeah, the noise really scared me. I'll just say that. <laughs> Peter is talking about <laughs> a plausible reaction. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much for letting me have this silly moment in time. And Dana says, hi, how are you? Thank you. I'm very well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Myra. Myra is laughing out loud at me. That's good. Okay, I'm going to keep painting though.
Yeah, when I realized what it was, I thought, okay, I might be the silliest person I know. <sighs> silly. Too silly. I mean, it must have gone like right over, I mean, right over this because the medical center is right behind the cameras, basically. So. Oh, Lord Pancakes is here. Hello. And there it says I am. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so what I want to do today is paint a pineapple on top of this background, so. Right now I'm just getting a little bit of a yellow going so that that can serve as a nice texture for behind the pineapple. Was asking small brush today <laughs> or saying <laughs> yeah I am using a small brush I guess sometimes I've been using it because I'm enjoying being on the stream just a little bit longer when I use the large brush it like goes too fast or something <laughs> And then sometimes I'll end up doing two, I'll end up doing two paintings, but today I decided I'm only going to do one painting. I'm not going to try to do multiples today. I'm just going to work on this one. Marissa's here. Jose's here. Hi, nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you for the pineapple emoji. I actually do kind of need that as like a little reference photo because I was showing people at the beginning of the stream that all I have is this as my reference. It's like a little figurine I picked up at a thrift store a long time ago and then have been painting the sides of it. <laughs> Peter says, the US military flew low over our house in my teens in Germany. It scared me a couple of times because it was the Cold War. Oh yeah, I wonder that does sound, sound very intense. I wonder if anyone else has some stories like that. Frank is here. Hello. Nice to see you. This is cute. Thank you. Yeah, I love thrifting. It's one of my most favorite hobbies. Um, the only problem is, even though, like, obviously the prices are a lot cheaper, but it still costs money, and I don't know. This is. I wish I could just find things that were, like, totally didn't cost money at all. And sometimes I do, though. I'm pretty good at curb shopping, also. Like, there's stuff thrown out on the curb. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to talk about that right now. Yeah. 
unless anybody has questions, and then I'm happy to answer. Let's see. Um, Dana says, you in Texas. Yes, yes, I am in Texas. And Pigtail Princess says, hey, painter, what you painting? Well, right now it's a background, and later there will be a um, little pineapple painted on top of it. But because pineapples are usually kind of brown and green on the outside, I wanted to get this yellow background to kind of get that pineapple flavor going. Right. And now I'm going to paint the edges of the panel here. Just because I don't like to have to do this later. Not very fun. I have to try to do it later. I'm fine just to do it now while paint's still on the brush. Because sometimes if I try to do it later, then I end up messing up the main painting, and that's not very fun. Okay, okay. And Myra says, is that a 24 inch canvas? Yes, it is. It's 24 by 24. And there's a question that says, are you outside? Yes, I am outside. And Dana says, I'm from Kurdistan, I'm Kurdish, and now I stay with my friend in California. Oh, from California or in California? Either way, that's cool. Very, uh, very beautiful state. And Janet's here. Hi, Janet. this pineapple. So first I will start with trying to mix a little bit of the darkest color, which will be kind of a brownish mix. So to make the brown, I'm going to mix up this magenta. And the yellow and also a little bit of the turquoise. So with all three of these colors, I'm looking for something, hold on, let me get a thing that I'm going to use as a palette. This one will only take about 10 seconds because it's right over here. <laughs> okay, who's timing me? Okay, I'm going to use this as my palette, it's just a piece of wood. But... I did eventually want this piece of wood to become a piece of art in and of itself. But I haven't gotten there yet, so we'll see. Let's see, Dreaming is here, David's here. Nice to see you. Taking these three colors and mixing up a nice brownish. If I need it to be any darker, then I will add a bit of the black color. But I don't know if it really needs to be any darker. It might be good like this. Can you see it? Kind of purplish. All right, what's the opposite of purple on the color wheel? Oh yes, yellow. So I'm gonna get some yellow. Whenever I'm trying to make a neutral color, but it's it's turning to much like one color, then I'll use try to draw the color wheel in my head and ask what's the opposite on my color wheel. All right, good. Yep, that's the color I'm looking for there. A bit more of a brown. 
Okay, I'm gonna wear a dress still. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go for, let me get my little reference here. And pigtails asking, how's the weather in Texas? And it's raining here. Um, it's really sunny. It's been kind of off and on raining, but um, today, no rain today. Nice and really sunny. In uh, Fahrenheit, it's about 70s. Alright, so here we go with this. I want to keep it real textured as I go. I don't want it to be too blended or too anything. Just going to texture as I go. And as Bob Ross would say, I'm going to build and build and build. So it may be a little small right now. I may want to make it a little bigger, but I'm going to start small because it's easier to make it bigger as I go rather than try to make it smaller. And usually I would want to start with the, um, the darkest color so that I can go on top and add highlights later. So, hey Sylvia, nice to see you. Painting a pineapple, and this is my reference right now, because this is all I have. It's a little figurine from the thrift store <laughs> that I started painting. <laughs> okay, anyway. But even though I have this, I'm still trying to keep in mind like what a real pineapple looks like. <laughs> so. I don't know what this is for exactly. There we go. See, nice and textured. Lots of lots of little textures still in there. And it might be a little small, but I'm realizing I might do some nice. Uh, palm trees in the background, like just real faded, real abstract, nothing, uh, nothing too like in focus. So <clears throat> let's see, Princess says it's raining in here. Yeah, let me know where it is. I want to hear uh, where, where the followers are from. Natasha's here. Hi, Natasha. And Peter says, lovely here in Central Texas, sunny blue sky, nice breeze. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh, and hey, Giuseppe, nice to see you. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little Oops. Give me a real light just to kind of blot something out, see how it goes. to make those green because right now I'm just adding them as a as a low light as a shadow for the background. Okay, so let me kind of try to wash off some of this color from the brush a little. See what we can get going as far as a, a green color. Gavin O'Leary says hey good morning. Good morning. Clarence is here. Hey Clarence. Clarence used to live in this house so it's <laughs> a fun Fun little fact for anyone watching. <laughs> the person who used to live in this house is watching the TV show or the broadcast. <laughs> so I'm gonna mix up a little bit of a green color. So I've got the blue, a little bit of blue. And now I'm going to add some yellow. Let's 
gonna need a bit more yellow, I think. Nice to see you guys. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so a little bit of green. Mixing up, mixing up. Very fun. Can you see it? <laughs> okay, a little bit of green. Let's set it back over here. It's definitely not the ideal palette because it's it's so heavy. <laughs> Alright, so green stems. Just a real light touch. And then later, there will be some yellow and white highlights added. Josh says, hi, Lindsay. How's your day? It's a beautiful one. It is a beautiful day, isn't it? Thank you. And I think Dana is asking if I will go live in California. And uh, no, I already lived in California. Not for me. <laughs> so not for me. And Dreaming says, love that green. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love it too. I want to show both cameras. <laughs> it's a wonderful green. See. Josh says Kelly expensive. Yes, extremely. And Guerrero says hi, hello, nice to see you. All right, you guys. So I was talking about maybe doing some palm trees. I'm looking around in the yard if there's any palm trees anywhere I can use as a reference. And there's not, so I'm just going to do it from the imagination. trees look like, don't they? Hmm. <laughs> I know I painted them before. Mm. They may need a little bit of a brown base as well, like a brown trunk, so they can look a little bit more natural. <laughs> A little bit of texture while we're here to this kind of thing. This is just kind of like a little bit of a green, representing those <clears throat> green leaves that come off the edges of the pineapple. Not green leaves, but like green little spiny things. <laughs> Josh is sending palm tree em emojis and it says to help. Thank you so much, Josh. That's awesome. <coughs> Definitely do that. All right. No, seriously, I really do. Okay, yeah. Perfect. I'm the kind of painter that always looks at like reference photos or anything like that. 
I, I don't really try to do it from memory. Sorry about all the noise, by the way. And then Instagram Live didn't work, so now I have to try to turn it back on. Okay. Hello again. Thanks for joining. emojis instead of reference it's <laughs> perfect all right hey peter hey lord pancake sorry that the broadcast got interrupted i don't know what happened uh, let's put on some of these little palm trees over here I like this little, <clears throat> the little tapping motion. I feel like it's helping. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Jay. Nice to see you guys. Um, yeah, I love the little tapping motion. It kind of helps things look a little bit more organic. It's nice. So I'm going to keep working with that a bit just to... Can I say I want to organic up this painting a bit? <laughs> oh, wow. I can see it in the camera. I can see what it looks like. Let's see. Tannis is here. Nice to see you. Oh. And uh, Jerry says, do you like pineapple? Yes, I do love pineapple. It's one of my favorite foods of all time. I think it just smell, the taste, everything about it is so wonderful. Oh, the color, I love the color. And let's see, I'm kind of looking. I think I might want to add a tiny bit of a little shadow or something because right now, Pineapple looks a little bit like it's floating. And Gavin O'Leary says, would it be possible to send paintings unstretched if caught? Yes, absolutely, I can definitely do that. Um, not all of them are available for that, but there are a lot that are available. So feel free to send me a message and I can send back photos of which ones are could be unstretched. Oh, got a little drop here. Well, there's the beginning of the shadow that I was talking about. <laughs> Tim says, pineapple is my favorite plant. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's super cool. It's really beautiful. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a few more of these the green textures. And then right here, it will kind of be a little background um, color rather than literal yeah. whatever that's called. Alright, I have a hard time seeing what I need to see. Okay, how does it look? Okay, yeah, it definitely needs like a little bit, maybe a shadow or something. So let me do something like that. How's everyone's Wednesday going? Let me know. I'd like to hear from you guys. I know it's a beautiful day in Texas, or at least in Houston and Central Texas from what I've heard. <laughs> we had the Blue Angels fly over around noon, a little afternoon. So that's the big, uh, big news around here. <laughs> and Gavin O'Leary says, thank you so much. You're welcome. <clears throat> oh, and Tina says, it's amazing how pineapples grow from a miniature, from a miniature size. Yeah, that's super cool. Um, I would love to be able to see more about like how pineapples start and then how they get bigger. 
I don't know if I've ever seen a real pineapple plant, which now that I think about that is kind of upsetting because um, there's a lot of food that I love that I don't know how it how it's actually grown. And I can't believe that I live in a world where that's possible. <laughs> Gavin says, it's Thursday, I live in the future. Oh yeah, and by that you mean <laughs> on the other side of the world for me. <laughs> okay, so. So I'm in some kind of shadow shape. That'll be fun. And I want it to be a little bit transparent. So I really should be adding like a transparent medium, but I'm not. I'm just getting this color on the brush here and I'm gonna try to oh, Gavin says Australia. Yeah, that is, that is the other side of the world. Okay. So let's see, the shadow will go over here. So this technique I'm using right now is called dry brushing. I'm trying to see what it looks like on the camera, but I'm having a hard time seeing it. All right, kind of see it. So yeah, with dry brushing, I just very lightly, <clears throat> there's not a whole lot of paint on the brush, it's just a very light kind of stroke. So, let's see how that so, so far it looks good. Um, maybe there's one of this what might be missing is just how those um how pineapples have those little they're almost sort of like spikes on the edges but they kind of point up let's see josh says these couple of years i've grown to love fruit more and more always gotta have strawberries and blueberries on it that's awesome yeah fruits are the best i totally agree <laughs> okay so yeah so so guys i'm gonna clean this one part up a little bit oh no all right, that's what we call interesting background texture. And Josh says, are we being raided? I don't know, are we being raided? Hello. <laughs> nice to see you, Shaz. Um, for any, everyone who's watching on the other platforms, it's not Twitch. Uh, raids are where a group of people from one stream heads, heads over to the stream from a different stream. Uh, um, Twitch is a streaming software or platform. So, um, but I'm live on Facebook and Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube over here. So, all right. So I'm going to be adding these little, almost like little spikies, just to give it that real pineapple-y. Is that an adverb? pineapple -y? Um, Yeah. I'm giving it a real pineapple-y kind of texture here. So, if you have any questions about hey there, if you have any questions about the art or about being an artist or anything about the paint or the colors, um, I've been learning a lot more just from answering questions and um, yeah, things like that. So, 
Oh, and Gavin says he messaged a picture of a pineapple plant, which I will definitely need to look at. Thank you very much. Sometimes I just feel like, wow, well, silly. I don't know how, how my food grows. And George is here. Hey, George. Marissa says, looks great. Happy painting. Thank you so much, Marissa. All right. Nice to see you guys on Twitch. Cool. Okay. Here we go. A little bit of... And I think what's missing from this pineapple is just a tiny bit of some highlights. So I'm going to start with a little bit of yellow. And I keep the paint right under the cameras. So you're seeing me dip my brush very lightly into this yellow can of paint. Just a little bit of highlights, and I'm going to pick a side. So I'll probably choose, I'll choose this side. Um, this is my right side, but sometimes the camera gets flipped around here. here so I'm just going to make just little textures. Hey, Miguel's here. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again. <laughs> I saw Miguel walking earlier. <laughs> Nicole's here. Hey, Nicole. And Dreaming K Arts, Katie Art says, Were you nervous when you first started live streaming painting? If so, what helped me overcome that? Oh, wow, that's a great question. Um, and I'll have to think about it. So let me paint a little bit and think about... I do know I was nervous when I started. <laughs> but, um... I don't know how I got over it, so I'm gonna have to think about that. So, hmm, my pineapple is looking a little bit mechanical or something. Um, and then also I did not think of an answer of how I got over being being nervous. <laughs> I would say I'm still just as nervous, um, just that it gets a little bit easier every time. Let's see, Gavin says, from what I've seen, you use similar brushes. Do I use rat tails or fan brushes as well? I have used those kinds of brushes before. Um, but yeah, I d you'll see me use the same brushes over and over, just because, I don't know, I sort of, I, I don't know, turn this into my own style or something. <laughs> uh, what did I do to get over being nervous? I think when I first did this, I just, I don't know, I just, it was like, I just turned the camera on and I just was like, I guess I'll just see what happens. And then it felt like people were really nice and people were commenting, there was great feedback. And so somehow I just was like, well, let me try it again. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. And so um, I don't know how I get over it. I know in general, like if I'm wanting to do any kind of public speaking or talk to people and I don't really know what to do, then as I'm talking, I'll also have my mind like focused on, well, how do my toes feel? And then I'll kind of move up. Like, how do my knees feel? How's my stuff like? And really, like, how does it feel feel? Like, not... Not in words, but like in, in actual physical, like what's the weight, what's the temperature? <laughs> and, uh, oh, let's see, there's a comment that says, you're doing great. Where are the other chatters? Is this on Facebook? 
Yes, it's on Facebook, it's on Instagram, and on YouTube as well. So I'm on, I'm streaming on multiple platforms right now. And Josh, Josh said she's everywhere, soon to be a PBS superstar. Thank you. <laughs> Very exciting. And then, yeah, so I have used other kinds of brushes to answer Gavin's question. <clears throat> Yeah, so like some of the rat tails, I think, are the lettering brushes. I've definitely used those um, in the lettering projects that I've done. And then the fan brushes, I have used those. I just, it's been a little while. And then a lot of times I end up ruining brushes. So you'll see me just, like, this is a brush that someone just gave me. <laughs> and then you'll see me with, like, my house painting brush that's just ridiculous. I'm not very good at taking care of, sorry, I don't want to wet dripping everywhere. Um, I don't know, I, I just, even if I try really hard to take care of my brushes, they end up drying out and things like that, so I don't end up buying, I just kind of like to spend money on stuff that's just going to accidentally get ruined. And Dreaming says, awesome, sounds like a good mindful approach. You're so chill, love your style of painting and work, thanks for the thoughtful answer. You're so welcome, thank you for asking, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and work on some of these textures. I kind of want to see how it looks in the... Yeah, okay, so to me, this part down here is looking a little bit mechanical, like I just stamp, 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 and I don't really like that because it doesn't look like doesn't look like it grew naturally in nature. So let me get back out some of the other colors and kind of mix those back in. So getting the brown color back in the brush here and going to, I would say that I'm going to clean it up, but I'm really doing the opposite one to make it a little bit more messy, <laughs> a little bit more organic. Oh, and Jerry says it's looking edible. Thank you so much. That's exciting. One of my biggest fears when I was younger, oh, Elf is here. Hey, Elf, nice to see you. One of my biggest fears when I was younger was like painting or drawing palm trees. <laughs> and now I'm doing it live on camera, which is kind of hard to believe. Derek is here. Hey, Derek. Nice to see you. There was like two things I really could not stand. Um, trying to draw or paint when I was a kid, which got yeah, palm trees and then like feather, like bird wings for some reason, like both those things, I don't know, there's like a certain curve to them that just, I could never get it right. And it was stuff like that that made me say at a very young age, like, I will never be an artist, I don't like art, I'm not good at it, and then look what's happened now. <laughs> I mean, that's really the whole point of being on these broadcasts is to show people like, yeah, even if you're not good at it, you can still do it. Like, I'm not good. <laughs> I can still do it. <laughs> I don't know. I love it. I don't know. Or maybe I just meant like I didn't grow up being good at art or something. I know I put in a lot of work now, so I can't really say that anymore. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. And I do think that the pineapple could use. <laughs> Elf is saying my internet is cutting out, sorry. That's okay. Elf, I don't have any um, of the commands set up. I'm really sorry. And Josh says, I hear people who draw sometimes have trouble with hands. Yeah, hands are difficult. Alright, I'm going to see what this pineapple... Yeah, I'm liking it. I think I want to add just a touch of white highlight to the 
no on me. It's like, I always say, like, the painting is dead until I add the little highlights. And I learned that from Sylvia, who was watching earlier. I don't know if she's still here. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna get some of this white paint on the brush. Just a tiny bit. Actually, it's probably way too much. Mm -hmm. Alright, so just a little bit of white on the brush. I kind of brushed it off. And I want to add. Just making this look like a little spiky part. So you'll see I'm just kind of adding little dots of white. And that's, the little dot is representing where the little leaf of the pineapple <laughs> kind of does this little number. <laughs> so you'll see, um, I would use this, but it's not a real pineapple, but like, I feel like it's kind of represented here. There's like a little bump. Anyway, so it's what I'm trying to do is just add a little tiny white highlight that represents the little hook of the leaf on the pineapple. There's something about it, it's too stamping, like stamped, looks stamped. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to read, make sure I get all the comments right. All right, and Peter says, the moment is there to say it. I used to watch Bob Ross when I was younger and loved it. I loved it and his soothing voice. You exude a similar essence with your calm flow and voice. Oh, thank you, Peter. That was so amazing to hear. I absolutely love that and um, I'm honored. I hope that Someday I can be like him. Yeah, he's definitely, definitely a hero of mine. Alright, so I'm going to add a few more. Just want this little guy to be a little highlighted. And this to be a little highlighted. All these little guys can get a few little touches. I think that, that brings a little bit of life to the painting there. And uh, Peter says, thank you for sharing your talent. Thank you so much for saying so, and you're most welcome. And let's see, today I was um, doing some work. I have a small room that I'm trying to find out what to do with it. I used to have a roommate, but I don't anymore. And um, right now that room is kind of, it's empty, but it has paintings hanging on the walls. And I don't really go in there too often. And today I realized there's this huge portrait that I painted. I mean, I'm talking, I can't even show it on the Instagram camera because it's about, I think it's about four, four feet wide. Anyway, it's, it's very wide, four or five feet wide. And then um, it's about, about six feet tall. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's really tall. And anyway, it has a big portrait of Bob Ross painted on top of it, onto this, onto this camera, I mean, canvas, and <clears throat> yeah, I, I've, I've had it, I painted it a couple of years ago, <laughs> I didn't really realize at the time what I was doing, but when I saw it today, I was like, oh, I see, that's what I'm, I guess that's what I've been doing. <laughs> anyway, thank you for acknowledging that, thank you to Josh also for saying that, something similar today, that's really cool.
I have been watching Bob a little bit more recently, and um, now that I'm feeling more comfortable as a painter, it's not quite as intimidating to watch him like it used to be. And uh, I'm noticing, yeah, he just has a really great way of great way of doing things. It's really nice. Okay. Just see a few areas in the background that I'd like to clean up. It's um, nothing too bad going on back there, but I just wanted to want it to feel a little bit more welcoming or something. So I'm gonna add a bit of yellow and a bit of white. Just getting a little bit of yellow on the brush here. Normally I don't like to add to the background after I've already done a lot of work on the foreground, but in this case it feels a little bit necessary. So I'm just going to go with it. So I'd like to step back behind the cameras and take a look, see it from the view that you guys are seeing it from. So give me a second while I do that. Okay. You can see this area. I want to add some color. Hey, Alpha, nice to see you. Okay, you guys, it's getting kind of close to the end of the broadcast. Oh, I look like. Um, and if you have any questions or anything you'd like me to talk about, anything about colors or about the art or about being an artist, please let me know. I think if I had to go back and do this artwork over again, I would probably add a little bit more in the background, like a little bit more texture. I wonder if there's a way for me to do that now without totally messing up the painting. Hey, Tommy, nice to see you. I don't know, sometimes a random texture is just... Hey, Lindsay. Hey. It's my neighbor riding by on a bicycle. I think that was my neighbor, Andre. All right, it's kind of hard to see when people are like wearing their full bicycle kit with their helmet and everything and shades. 
All right, and Josh says, it's looking good and I'm craving a fruit cup. That is amazing. I'm also now craving a fruit cup too. <laughs> okay, so you got a little bit of random texture. You know, maybe even, maybe back here. Maybe just like a tiny bit of that, the color that's on the pineapple. Could go into the background a little bit, maybe help it get a little bit of dimension. There we go. I just felt like those, the plain kind of stripey background was looking a little, uh, I don't know, it's a little boring maybe. <laughs> Dominic, hello. Loic, nice to see you guys. Thanks for being here. Dominic says, beautiful work. Thank you so much. I am so excited about this work. I'm painting the background after the foreground has been painted, which usually means that like then the foreground will have to be touched up, which is totally fine. <laughs> Sorry, there's some there's some neighbor dog fun happenings over here. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. To me, this looks like the pineapples, like, kind of has a little thought bubble <laughs> coming off of it. <clears throat> Douglas is here. Jim is here. Hey, hey, nice to see you. I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna call this painting the pineapple dreams <laughs> or something like that. I thought this was going to be like a quick little pineapple drawing painting. And, uh, turn into a bit of a project, which is really fun.
definitely interesting. I'm going to step back behind the cameras and take a look from the angle that you guys are seeing it at. Right, yeah, I'm liking that better. It's definitely having a little bit more dimension with that this extra background texture being added in. So I'll just do one more area here with the texture. Well, I say one more, but we'll see how it looks when it's done. something about that uh, that texture there that is I don't know it feels like it's kind of helping me it's helping the foreground and the background be tied tied together a little bit more and if I had known that, that was gonna be the case I might have done it from the beginning Bill's here hey Bill nice to see you yeah just finishing up here on working out these background textures to see you. take my small brush and I'm going to go ahead and sign this artwork. So, getting my small brush ready, getting any excess, excess off of it, and trying to get the correct color. Onto the brush, all right, here we go, got this little green. <laughs> Tiny bit of green, I'm going to sign the painting now. Nice, nice, nice. I'm very happy. Hey, Vito. Nice to see you. I'm assuming that's Vito from Elba Graphics. Nice to see you. And, uh, Fabio is here. Nice to see you. 
Okay, you guys, I'm going to take the artwork off of the easel and hold it up a little bit closer to the cameras so that anyone who's watching can see it up close. Okay, so here it is up close. Back at all, so you can see more cool view. Maybe side to side. All right, thank you so much for looking. Thank you, Josh. Nice to see you. All right, you guys, it's been a wonderful Thursday painting on camera, painting on this live stream. So, I really appreciate everyone tuning in. I'm so, so, so thankful for the comments and for the questions. It's just this live stream. Oh, well, Bill is saying, I want a pina colada. I love pina coladas, although I don't drink alcohol anymore, but I freaking love the taste of like coconut and pineapple. Oh, gosh, it's my favorite. Seriously. Um, yeah, so here's, I'm very happy about this artwork. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, I'm just so thankful that you guys are tuning in and, and leaving your comments and asking me questions. It just feels like these painting, ses these painting sessions are <sighs> like a million times better because I know y'all are here and I just know that people are enjoying this as much as I have enjoyed watching other people paint. <clears throat> or at least some amount. <laughs> Maybe not as much. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I hear, I hear you guys when you say you're enjoying it, so... I really appreciate that. And Peter says so awesome. Thank you so much, Peter. Okay. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the Thursday. Please feel free with any messages, um, any comments. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer. I'm happy to talk about the art, talk about being an artist, anything about the live streams. Um, yeah. Have a great rest of the day, and I will see you very soon. Okay, bye-bye. I love you guys.